If you talked to me a couple months ago, I would have been all about resolution. The highest resolution that a dash cam can shoot at is the best because it makes license plates easier to read. Well, then I got a dash cam for my parents. Quick story time here, my parents are not dash cam people, and in fact when I installed a camera into their car, I don't even think they noticed. The cam I installed in their car was a cheap little 1080p thing that I'm quite fond of, but when I installed it, I set the resolution to 720p. In the end, I came to the conclusion that, at least for them, it made a lot of sense to have it in a lower resolution. Many of you might think I'm crazy for suggesting this, but I think they're actually better off running their cam in 720p mode, and you may be too, especially if you drive a lot, or you're the kind of person that has a cheaper camera. First off, it's important to understand a little bit about the technology in dash cams. Unlike your cell phone or your digital camera, dash cams are based on low resolution sensors, often designed strictly to output 1080p or less. The low resolution sensor increases sensitivity in dark lighting, like nighttime, but it only means that there's so much actual detail they produce. The video that I've been showing from the A119S is in 720p mode and I can still read license plates of the cars that are passing me in one lane over, street signs, and all those important details. Sure, with the higher video quality cam like the A119S, you are losing a little bit of distance, but the difference isn't as great as I thought it would be. I now permanently run my rear-facing A119S in 720p60 mode. The biggest benefit of running your cams at a lower resolution though is for your memory card. Since lower resolutions use less data, that means less wear and tear overall and a longer lasting memory card. Those who drive a lot, like people who are truck drivers or use parking mode all the time, could benefit from using that lower resolution to extend the life of their memory card. This is the same for people who bought cheap memory cards and don't want to write a ton of data to them. People who drive professionally and rely on license plate readability would probably want to stick with the highest resolution their camera does and budget to replace the cards occasionally, but for those of you who are only casually driving and using the camera more as a witness than a way of documenting the journey, may benefit from this lower resolution because it saves their card. It depends on the camera of course because some cameras 720p is far worse than their 1080p. There's also a benefit in frame rate for many cameras. Some cameras that offer 1080p at 30 frames per second offer 720p at 60 frames per second, this higher frame rate making it easier to read fast moving license plates and oncoming traffic, despite the step down in resolution. Just to note though, that running your camera at 720p, 60 frames per second, offsets most of the benefit that the lower resolution has for your memory card. Finally, one thing to consider is that many of the cheapest cameras are actually based on 720p sensors anyways. If your camera was just a cheap generic, or it films in AVI format, chances are that it is a 720p sensor, and running it at 1080p takes up more data with no actual resolution benefit. You're just wearing out your card faster if that's the case. I should mention here that these points apply differently to different cameras. For example, the A119 is a 1440p camera, not a 1080p camera. So turning it down to 720p loses a lot of detail. The A119 has the benefit of being able to read license plates where other cameras can't due to that higher resolution, so turning it down would just be dumb. Even the 1080p mode on the A119 is not as good as 1080p mode or 720p mode on some other cameras. For me though, I'm now running 1080p 60 up front and 720p in my rear facing camera, despite having higher resolution cameras than that because it saves my memory cards. So what do you think, am I crazy that I'm doing this? You'll have to try it out for yourself because every camera is different and some cameras 720p modes are significantly worse than their 1080p modes, while other cameras 720p modes have the same amount of detail as the 1080p modes. So why don't you give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it worth running your camera at a lower resolution? Well, let me know. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your comments.